Now I have here where PNC commissioners gave individuals, several other individuals, because they were interviewing several individuals for different posts, 100% of the marks. And zero to others. Jitendra Singh got two zeros from the two PNC commissioners. We did not score persons who we considered ineligible. Um. The public, the human resource lady put zero. We never put zero. We said this person should not have been here because they have not met the criteria to be interviewed. The fallout over the non reappointment of the recent past deputy CEO for GCOM, Vishnu Prasad, continues. And the opposition leader, Barra Jagdio, is of the opinion that Prasad might have been deliberately blacklisted by the letter that Vincent Alexander wrote today in the Guyana Chronicle. Alexander is the PPP appointed commissioner. This distortion about his qualification and performance just to justify a partisan political um, aim uh, or decision at GCO that they will stoop so low as to, in this manner, denigrate this individual. In the article, Alexander said that Prasad lied about his qualifications. Alexander repeated those sentiments in an exclusive interview with Channel 2 Headline News. When Vishnu was interviewed to be the deputy CEO, the, the, to be the DCEO, uh -huh. I challenged his qualification. Between himself and the then chairman, they proposed it was a first degree. When Vishnu came for the interview on this occasion, I raised the question again, and Vishnu himself admitted it was not a first degree. So, so how did he come out as the highest person given given the Because of the nature of the commission, the commission got three PNC being very raw though, very raw, and three PPP. If they score him very high, and we score him reasonably, he gets the highest. As simple as that. So, so, so given, given the question that you had on his qualifications, why, because Jack Deere is saying that there were people that got zero, people who came to that interview that, that got zero. That is not true. Jack Deere, Jack Deere and all of them are lying. Jack Deere is of the opinion that something is amiss, which necessitated the letter in the Chronicle by Alexander. He said that Alexander has a motive. So clearly, something is very wrong here. And I believe it's, you have to look to the motive behind Vincent Alexander. Alexander said that the, after the interview, he saw a certificate which says that Persad now has a master's degree. He came this time with a master's. He asked to see, I asked to see the um, transcript. That became available after the interview, not during the interview. And, and, and were you guys satisfied with it? It sounds like he has B's and E's, no A's, must be one B. The PNC commissioner said that a few weeks ago, when a black lawyer was interviewed, the PPP commissioners did not want him, and the GCOM chairman, Patterson, agreed with them and voted that lawyer down. Three weeks ago, we interviewed a lawyer. He had the highest scores. It went to the commission, we had the same split and the chairman voted it down. This was a lawyer who was a black man. And the chairman voted it down, which was voted along with the PVP commissioners. So you can't, you can't, you can't shift your procedures to suit your case. The guy came out to the highest. He could have the only... Came out to the highest. Uh -huh. Only in the circumstance where the PP commissioner scored him extremely high. So the system is flawed. I think we can put this to arrest by a full fledged investigation by the Ethnic Relations Commission. For Channel 2 Headline News, Wendell Jeffrey. Uh -huh.